Cheers to a good time, not a long time, ladies. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am starting my first week in my life here in Florence, Italy. As you guys know, I just moved here to begin my senior year of college. I'm a fashion merchandising student at Kent State University, and I'm spending my last semester abroad. I'm super excited. Today is Monday, and it is the start of my first full week of classes. So I've got class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we've got some fun weekend plans. So my plan while I am here is to continue vlogging, but I'm gonna break it up into school weeks and then weekend travels, just so that you guys can kind of get both sides to the abroad life. So today I'm off to class and I'm wearing a cute little dress from Lulu's, got on sneakers from Dolce Vita, and then I'm using my long champ as my little school bag. I've got lots of jewels on and I'm ready to start the day. I've got three classes today, basic Italian, um, European study tour, and then I think my third one is luxury market. Don't quote me on that, but we're about to leave, just waiting on the girls, and yeah, off we go. Let's have a week. survived our first two classes of the day. Um, Olivia and I have another class later this afternoon, but it's not until 3.30 and it's only 11 right now. So we decided we're gonna walk home and eat some lunch, maybe go to the grocery store. I've got a little bit of style by work to do. And we just picked up a package. It's so heavy, but um, hopefully. <laughs> Culture shock for Lauren, the weird smells here. So I just got home and I unboxed that package and it turns out it's actually stuff from Princess Polly. I'm super, super excited. I got tons of pieces that are just gonna be perfect for Europe. I'm gonna be filming a separate little try on haul probably tomorrow, but I got some amazing pieces. I'm super excited. We're doing a wine tour in Tuscany this weekend and then we're also going to um, Cinque Terre for the day and I have a feeling that some of these pieces are going to be perfect for those little day trips and then next weekend we're going to Croatia and then the weekend after we're going to Amalfi so I'm excited a lot of these will be good and then I also got a pair of sandals um, from Gentle Souls which is Kenneth Cole's like little subline and I'm really excited about these they're super super comfortable I just tried them on they're real leather and I've been wanting another pair of sandals that I can walk around the city in so yay very excited about that all right we came to Pino's for lunch they just opened today they've been closed for holidays so many of you guys said to come here that they have the best paninis and it's right around the corner from our house so we'll see how it is I built my own and I used this chicken Okay, they accidentally gave me the breaded chicken, but I got mozzarella and his favorite smoked cheese. I don't know, I just said to put his favorites on. Okay, just finished lunch, and now I'm gonna grocery shop for a few days worth of food so that I can make dinner at home. All right, didn't get too much, just enough for the next couple days. The grocery haul. Still getting the hang of it, you know? The grocery store is definitely um, different. One of the, I think, biggest, like, culture shock slash dip, like just challenges. But um, here's what I got for a total of $25. I got tomatoes, I got a red pepper, and a cucumber, and feta for tonight's dinner. And then I got mozzarella and pesto and barbecue sauce, cause I'm just a sauce person and I needed something since I don't have ranch. Green grapes, chicken, um, I got potato chips and I got popcorn. I got popcorn this time to try too. And then I got a big piece of six water and carried it home with all of the plastic broke. So, yay! All right, we're home and I'm trying to do a little bit of editing before my next class. First day in Florence, vlogs ready to go. Just got done with our last class of the day. We just had luxury markets. It was interesting. Seems like yeah. we're gonna be learning a lot in that class. There's only 11 of us. And that's like the, what I imagined an Italian professor would be like in my head. Like yeah. very like, 
does loud it? and matter of fact. Yes, loud and just like you know, he's explaining it, like point. slamming his hands on the table, like not in like a mean way, but like a lot. The biggest difference, I think, like class-wise, after today having three classes, is that everything is very much just participation based here. Like they just want you to engage to learn, whereas like in America, it's like study this in order to pass this and then it's almost like people don't even care if you forget it you know like you're just like studying to get by so I'm interested to see how this is gonna go most of our classes only have like four or five assignments and then either one project one exam so it'll be it'll be interesting different. and this is also the first time we've had a hundred percent in person class since we started freshman, freshman year. year if I can find a clip of baby us I'll put it here yeah. Anyways, we're on our way home. Need a sweet treat. Might get a sweet treat. I gotta take my outfit of the day. You know the drill. Okay, I've been home working and I just made dinner. I just made myself some barbecue chicken. I hope it's good. And then I am finishing up the rest of the potatoes. Well, if you're a regular around here, you know Lauren has a thing for going out on Mondays. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. We're off to the pub. We don't have class until like, at least I don't until two tomorrow. And since there's no karaoke machine at our house, we're having to get out. So that's what we're doing. I don't know, what is what pub are we going to first, Lizzie? We're gonna try the dragonfly thing. Dragonfly, and then if she's not the moment, then there's this like little hole in the wall literally called beer spot. So, could be All right. perfect. They're yeah. grabbing a brewski. <laughs> Cheers. Said I wasn't gonna have a drink, but couldn't resist. I got a sex on the beach. <laughs> All right, good morning guys, it's Tuesday. Typically on Tuesday I would have two classes, I'd have international experience and then later in the day I have fashion and culture. We don't have our morning class today for whatever reason so I'm going to utilize this morning before my 2 p.m. class to get some work done. First things first I'm going to go and take the tripod out and shoot with the sandals that came yesterday from Gentle Souls. This is one of Kenneth Cole's lines. They're super fun. And I thought that they would look really cute with these overalls that I got yesterday from Princess Polly. So I'm going to go shoot that, and then I have a TikTok to film for Princess Polly. And I have two try on hauls, one for Cup Sheet, one for Princess Polly. So I'm going to try to get some content filmed. I've pretty much only filmed vlogs since I got here, so time to start getting back into the routine. I promise I'm going to come up with a regular posting schedule, just kind of trying to adjust. So, yeah. So this wasn't totally what I had in mind, but I'm looking for like a little bit of steps to elevate me for the sake of this being a shoe picture. So I think I'm going to keep this location. It's very quiet and there's no one around, which is kind of hard to find, which is why I'm leaning towards this. few weeks, almost a month actually since I filmed a try on haul. It felt really good to get back into the swing of things today. Kind of rearranged our room so that this could be my filming setup. Not 100% sure like if it's the best setup ever, but it's going to have to work. Listening to some country music, first time listening to music since I got here and just trying to do things that make me feel more myself. I've had a little bit of an identity crisis slash just bit of culture shock since I got here. I feel just like not really like myself and I feel like that's totally normal especially being in a new space and in a new country and everything's new. So I'm just really trying hard to implement those elements of things that are familiar to me so it felt really good to film. Got all my work done. Olivia and I are walking to class now to meet Lauren. She's already at the school but we've got one class today. What's our class? Um, fashion and culture. Fashion and culture. Can't wait.
so I'm spending most afternoons during the week doing styled by things that way on the weekends when we're away traveling and stuff like that I'm all caught up so I just edited and uploaded another vlog I'm like really behind so daily uploading made a couple of thumbnails for upcoming vlogs and then I submitted some content that I shot and filmed this morning and now it is dinner time I feel like it's always 5 30 here um I don't know how but anyways we're gonna go cook some Greek chicken yum I really wish that I had like tzatziki or ranch or like something to put on this, but oh well. I didn't make the little orzo pasta to go with either. I just did the veggies and the pita just cause I was feeling lazy and we didn't have like Greek dressing here. So I just put salt, pepper, garlic, and some uh, parsley on the chicken. It tastes pretty similar. Very good. One of my favorite, like, quick, easy, healthy meals. What'd you get? I'm like a ride or die with it. I got a mix of mango and lemon. I think the lemon's better, personally. I got biscuit off, like, this one easy to get on an airplane. We have a gelato place right underneath of our place. Bad. Dangerous. Oh, but we're doing this because today Dairy Queen's fall flavors came out and we're not in the States to try them. And Starbucks came out. Mm -hmm. What was Dairy Queen's? Pumpkin cheesecake. Mm -hmm. oh, I, really care for pumpkin. I want a Dairy Queen's. Yeah. Cinnamon roll something. Good morning, you guys. It's Wednesday and I have all three classes that I had Monday. So it's early. We're off to the school. I'm wearing this little romper from Boohoo. Then some sneakers, nothing super crazy. Kind of feeling dead this morning, but getting my bag and we're gonna be off. Lauren, where's your dress from? Um, thrift it, but it's Banana Republic. Cute. from last night getting my veggie fix in I'm sitting right in front of the fan because it is scorching out time it's time for the styled by leg of the day I need to edit a video and then I'm hoping to get a blog post up today so here we go
had class outside. And now we're going to get free gelato with Lauren. Where is she? All right, Bless to Alps is having free gelato today, so you know we had to stop. Thank you. Tell me how it is because I'm gonna decide. Good? I'm debating between raspberry and this. I'm gonna get the raspberry. Nancy. Hello. Cheers. Oh. So, we're actually exploring after class today, guys. You guys, we are home and I just got my blog post for the day up. Just sharing a little day trip, how we got there, what we did, where we ate, kind of all those details. I'm hoping to keep doing these just to kind of give you guys some content throughout the week in addition to weekly wrap ups. And hopefully if you guys are studying abroad, this will make your life a little bit easier. I also just posted my YouTube video for the day. And now we are looking at different menus. I forgot to take chicken out. So we're gonna go out for dinner tonight. And this has been life-saving. This Google Translate, they have like a camera setting. So basically you just pick the language and you can just put the phone up like this and take a picture and it will translate as many words as possible into English. Um, they do have a lot of English on the menus in more tourist areas and a lot of our classmates live in those areas but we don't. We happen to live like where it's pretty much all locals and a lot more Italian, not as much English. So we know a little bit of basic conversational Italian. We're obviously learning a lot in our Italian classes that we have twice a week but this has been really helpful. So I'm just looking at the menu now. And scoping out what I should get. Uh, Guys, it's just hard to eat at home, but it's so much more fun to eat out. Oh, oh, take your picture. We just got our food. I got his favorites. He told me this was the best pizza. And then we got this wine. Lauren and I to share, and the girls got rose. And yonki. We still hear it. Cheers to a good time, not a long time, ladies. Now it's been a long time. Alright, vlog. Tonight was our first like real dinner experience. And I would give it a nine probably. My pizza was really great. The wine was not my favorite. I prefer something a little bit sweeter, but it was just good vibes, you know, good company, good vibes. Our waiter was amazing, atmosphere was good. Lauren? What would you give your Nine. pasta? Nine? What would have given it the ten? Um, a bigger proportion size. <laughs> <laughs> bigger portions. Anyways, alright guys, it's ten o'clock. I just took a shower, washed my hair, put on my favorite t-shirts, and I'm calling it quits. Catch you guys tomorrow for our last day of school this week. Thank God. Every single morning, Lauren wakes up with it, all of her sheets on the ground, and then this is how she makes it. <laughs> all right, good morning, guys. It's Thursday. We are off to class. We just have Italian fashion and culture this morning, which so far has been our most interesting class. So I'm wearing this little black dress from Chicwish. No, not Chicwish. This little black dress from Petal and Pup. Um, my straw sandals, Franco Sarto, and then I've got my little tote bag from H&M. Olivia's got our recycling, and we're ready to get off with our day. Just picture me absolutely trekking through the city with this 30 pound box. 
feel like I'm dying. I just unboxed my two packages. I'll show you guys what I got in just a second. But first, I am sitting down to eat some lunch. I'm just having my leftover pizza from yesterday. So good. So today I got a big batch of fall clothes from Shein and then I also got some swimsuits for my trip to the Amalfi Coast. And then, as you guys know, I got that box of stuff yesterday, so Lauren has class a little bit later today. It's just me, so I'm going to take advantage and do a little bit of filming. So, I usually wouldn't have three huge packages like this come all at once, especially here in Europe. I'm not really planning on doing too, too many hauls and things like that while I'm here, but I had booked these collabs before I got to Italy, so everything has just kind of come at once. So we've got lots of travels and things like that coming up in the next few weeks, which is why I want to just take this afternoon to kind of grind it out. We're taking these paintings off the wall for the sake of filming this little try on. I feel like my camera has been not super focused and I can't figure out if like why. It's been very sensitive to light and I think it's because right here there's like a little nick in my screen and I'm wondering if that's making it like permanently blurry. I sure hope not. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I just dropped my camera so hard on the ground that I honestly thought it wasn't gonna turn on. So I'm getting the hang of the filming setup in here. We do not have air conditioning in Florence and it is 93 degrees outside right now. I don't have the fan on because it makes too much noise and this light I have to have like beating right on me and the camera in order to like make the lighting work and look at guys like I just got up and like look at the sweat on my butt. <laughs> um, but you know I'm making the filming setup work. If you guys have watched any of my hauls let me know some feedback. I don't really know what else to do with the room. Like I know it's kind of boring, but I feel like a blank background is better than a busy background. Originally, I would have loved to film along the map, but the lighting is just like the opposite way. It's really harsh shadows. And then our closet is just like kind of chaotic. After filming, I did go ahead and put the sweaters and all of those like fall pieces on top of my closet. I'm not gonna be wearing those for a little bit of time. Obviously it's not sweater weather yet. so. Just thankful that I have that little bit of extra space right there. But yeah, good progress, you guys. I'm really happy that I was able to knock all three of these videos out. Time to clean up. I am on a roll after filming. Like, I feel so good, so much more myself, so confident. So I'm putting on my shoes and grabbing my little tote bag. And I'm heading out to take a photo with my tripod in this outfit you know we're keeping the good good vibrations going baby. you guys i've been hunting for the perfect photo spot i tried one spot meh second spot meh third spot meh, almost settled for it i was like whatever that's that'll do walking back i found this yellow but look at this a palm tree in florence are you effing kidding me Palm tree. So cute, I'll insert the picture here. Kinda early, it's like not even five, but I'm really hungry, so I'm cooking dinner. I'm doing chicken and then tomatoes, mozzarella, pesto, and rice. Um, we finally figured out the rice situation here, so I'm excited because I am so hungry and I've missed chicken and rice, so. The coolest thing I've probably done in the box. Where'd you get those? Uh, at a vintage shop? Oh, Chanel. Shut up, guys. Livy just gave us a haul and she found Chanel. So how much? $20. $20? Yeah. Holy shit. Like, and I think they're like legit. Like, I don't think I'm being con. Because it's like on the like the actual glasses. Dude, that's insane. But yeah. Look at you. I love, <laughs> I love sunglasses that make me look like a bug. The bigger, the better. Yeah, I'm the same way. My mom's like, look, he's getting there. I'm like, good. Bug, bug core is real. Okay, I love it. Mmm. A little bit charred on the cheese, but let's hope it's good. Olivia has requested a grocery haul. 
I got all the essentials you could ever need. And she saw American boys. I saw American boys, and I wanted to invite them out, but I was by myself. And when I like was thinking about it, they were like, "Let's go see if they have something like Tom's." And I was like, "Uh oh, we don't want those boys thinking of our apartment." <laughs> um, vape, which is actually a mosquito repellent. Mm hmm. Coke. Coca-Cola. Vodka. Salute. And toilet paper. Uh, essentials. Just the essentials. All right, we don't have any wine glasses here, which is certainly an issue. Like my mom, I said, because mom, I, I, I wanted a cute photo, but we don't have a wine glass or a martini broken. or any kind of glass. Like, wasn't it gonna be so cute in this outfit? Like with like, just hold the bottle. That's even better. Is yeah. It? Yes, that's cuter. I don't know. Anyways, we're getting ready for our evening out. Lord Which I wear. We're gonna learn a TikTok before we go, a dance. <gasps> that way when we're at to the karaoke bar tonight, we're gonna wow everybody with this dance. So get out of your towel, Laura. <laughs> You'll be ready. I need to be in my towel. It's towel time Go right get ready, please. I won't give you your glass I of wine really until you get out no. of your towel. I need my towel time. Okay, Lauren and I are learning to dance. Come critique us, guys. gets a video and I'll insert it here but I'm leaving my camera home see you later good morning guys it is Friday and we had a fun night last night successful we just went to Lions didn't end up going to Red Garter but still lots of fun and we all slept in this morning it's about noon now I've just kind of been sitting scrolling on Pinterest things like that and I'm ready to get the day started so I'm in the kitchen I'm actually gonna make some pasta salad this morning and use up some of these veggies because I don't want them to go bad. So that's what we're going to do. of salt, pepper, olive oil, and I'm good to go. A little pasta salad moment. Usually I would like a little bit of protein in this, but. Oh well. So I'm having like an editing marathon right now for YouTube videos. I've just been laying in bed for like four hours now. I edited a Princess Polly haul. I edited today's vlog. I edited a weekend in my life. And now I am working on editing the video you guys are watching right now. I get back into a vlogging routine and kind of set things up. So my plan, like I said, is to do weekly vlogs during the school week. And then I'm going to do separate vlogs for our weekend travels just to kind of keep things separate. So I am uploading and processing my last YouTube video right now. It's about 5 o'clock and we are going to go to dinner tonight. Um, we're not really in the mood to go out even though it is a Friday. So 
we figured we would get dressed up and go out for a nice dinner and maybe catch the sunset, do a little girls moment. Okay, this is what I'm gonna wear to dinner tonight. My tank top is new from Princess Polly and my pants are from Express. My white sandals, Franco Sarto. And then this is my new little Pauline purse that came last week. Super excited, it'll be my first time wearing it out. And then I've just got on my usual Goriana necklaces and I just got these little hoops, these clip-ons from Shein and I'll let you guys know if they're comfortable. I really like the size of them. They're a lot smaller than my other ones. So yeah, everyone else is yeah, getting ready. Not gonna work. Olivia is attempting to put her size six foot in my size eight shoes right now because this, the sandal option is running slim for the for these ladies. us getting out of the house at 5:30. Nothing like a day in bed. Today we was, out of bed. today was needed because we're going to be go 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 this weekend, next weekend, the weekend after, the weekend after that. So sitting still today feels okay. It's justified. Justified. All right, trying to find a place for dinner over by the river. Stumbled into the cutest little vintage store on our way to dinner. You guys want to know my hack? If you are in Italy like us and you go to a website and it's all Italian, you hit normal. Okay, before you do it, it's like two A's and then there's a um, translate to English. Right so now, I just did it and translated everything to English, and now you can look at your menu. They also have. You can also do it on like your laptop, and it's up where like wherever the URL. Interesting. Well, we found a place to eat. We're gonna get pizza. Yay. Yummy, yummy pizza time. I got pesto. Lauren got the bell. It has buffalo mozzarella on it, which is what I had the other day. And then Liv got stuffed crust that looks insane. And hers has a little bit of spice. Like Chris said, we didn't eat tomatoes until she got here. <laughs> like you can't live here or not. Who's who's <laughs> We're learning. If Laura were a dog, she'd be a paw ah, she I should say it's a compliment. She I goes, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, guess what I found the other day at the product store? What? Uh, a yeah. dog yeah. travel yeah. case. Yeah. Or what are they called? Like a dog carrier? A product dog carrier. Even it has like a little collapsible bowl on a keychain. And I said, this is what I'm buying for my Pomeranian that I get. What is going on? Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Thank you. So what did you rate your Um, okay. solid seven. Solid no, 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 I think it could be an eight. Eh. Just a, I don't About know. Seven and a half would be the in between. It, it, it would definitely be a nine if it was mozzarella, not ricotta. But also, it was called like a ricotta pizza. So like I it don't. It was ricotta pizza. And she got the crust stuffed <laughs> with ricotta. <laughs> Which it was just like it's almost like for some reason it like with the ricotta sauce. It's like the most overbearing cheese as it is. It doesn't taste bad in the crust, but it's almost like it tastes sweet on the pizza. It's weird. Okay. So. I rate mine a nine. I think that's the first thing I said that's a nine here. Well, I said the nine the other night, never mind. Okay. It was very good, and the, what was the cheese on top? Buffalo, Buffalo mozzarella. mozzarella. I've never had that before, but it's really I good. Try it. I haven't but tried it. I don't want to laugh. So have I? I am going to give mine an eight tonight. I thought it was really good, but I wish that it was just like a little, a little more tomatoes. Moist. Yeah, it needed to be a little moister. It kind of tasted like the, um, like a appetizer bread that you like dip in, but it was really good. And the company was a 10. Aw, that's so cute. <laughs> We're at our favorite gelato place. It's like so close. Ambros, how do I say, Ambrosia? Ambrosia. Yes. And I got home, how do you, 
¿Cómo se dice cup? Copeta. Copeta. <laughs> Lemon and mora, which Ooh. is blackberry. Which one? What are they? And oh. Olivia just got a surprise. <laughs> I say you. Try it. Yes. <laughs> White chocolate, whiskey, rice, and Nutella, and uh, lotus whiskey. Very good. Yes. These are good mixed together. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys, Lauren and I are going to get wine turned tomorrow so uh, we're gonna call it quits on this vlog I'm gonna do another vlog tomorrow for our little wine tour so stay tuned for that I hope that you guys enjoyed trying to get into the routine adjusting to life here we're loving it talk to you then love you kisses subscribe Mwah.